about the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Now Bailey to tack on the extra point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Weems to return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The defense for the Cowboys getting set to go. They have to recover a little bit. Last time, they couldn't stop the run. They really couldn't stop the pass either. And it wasn't just physically. It's mentally because the offense appears to be a step ahead of them. No matter what they call, it's working. So they've got to get something figured out. And usually, you need a big play to get things turned around. They gave up the touchdown on that balance attack last drive. Now this drive. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Finding time, and seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, you mind if we go off topic for a second? No, let's you know go. I like to do that let's randomly. Do uh, AFC playoff contenders for this year that didn't make it last season. Who do you have that might get in? Well, I think Cincinnati's got to be considered there. Maybe they'd have a, an offseason that's calm, and they go into this season and try and get back to the playoffs where they've been perennials. How about Denver? Yeah. Remember last year, they didn't have the quarterback to start. Trevor Simeon played pretty well overall, but maybe they can get solidified there and ride that strong defense right back into the playoffs. I'm going to give you a couple a little bit off the pace. Indianapolis cannot afford to squander Andrew Luck, one of the better young quarterbacks in the game. They've got to get back to the playoffs. And Buffalo, brand new head coach, brand new people running the ball club. Let's see if they can figure it out because I think defensively they can be awfully strong. And the offense lining up first and ten. down. Sanu with a grab over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Offense staying ahead of the chains here. Second and three. Throw again is Ryan. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. On first and ten, it's Ryan. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Bust like that at just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. 
Second and ten. It's Ryan again. Try to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. Trying to get that in the hands of Devontae Freeman that time. And it's third down. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. On third down, Ryan. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Fresh set of downs here. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Over the middle, it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They'll get 16 yards there. And it'll give the Falcons a first down. This offense is in rhythm now, just accumulating first downs and moving the ball downfield. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Deep drop. That's caught at the three. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw completion. Throwing again, Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Jacob Tammy in the final seconds of the first half, and the Falcons will add on to their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Here's Bryant for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. here on first down and Bryant's got it over the middle and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down so we're at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front as we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports halftime report Larry thanks Brandon I'm Larry Ridley and welcome to our EA halftime report the Falcons want to continue to give their fans something to cheer about in the second half. The Cowboys know it's always hard to come in and get a win on the road, but they're not out of this one yet. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. <laughs> 